Hello everybody. Thank you much Steve for tuning in. It's Beer Monster O'Clock. And uh, of course I'm back with another beer review. And I've been back to home bargains. Do love home bargains. You never know what you're going to see in there. And I've got one by the Brooklyn Brewery. Uh, and this is called their Brooklyn Lager. Amber Lager. 5% ABV this one. 440 ml can. Uh, and I got it in a four pack. You couldn't buy it individually. So I had to pick up four cans of it. And it cost me £3.99 pence, I believe. Uh, hopefully, it's nice. Otherwise, I'll be stuck with uh, three more cans. Uh, but yeah, hopefully, you should be all right. I tried the Brooklyn Pilsner. I quite like that one. But like the Brooklyn Pilsner, this one isn't brewed in Brooklyn. It is brewed in the UK, in Wolverhampton. So yeah, I've obviously got the recipe from them guys up in New York. And uh, brewed it in the UK, which um, sometimes it's not the same. But anyway, forget about all that. Let's see if the beer is nice in, or not. Let's crack it open. Let's brew by brewed by Colesberg. All right, let's get her in the glass and uh, see what she is all about. If you've tried this, guys, let me know if you like it or not in the comments, or whether you think it's a load of crap. And it is looking a rather sexual, nice, beautiful amber colour. Then it does say it's an amber lager. So there's no surprise there, really, is there? But it does look particularly nice, doesn't it? It's got a slightly off white head. It's got a bit of a, like an orange tinge to the head for me. It's got sort of decent levels of carbonation going out the glass there. Nothing too crazy. Sort of medium levels, I would say, for me. Looks all right. It is a lovely colour. Got a slight like, goldeny orange tinge to that amber colour. Let's uh, check out the aromas. It smells good. Uh, hoppy. Not floral hops. Malty as well, nice and malty, like a little bit of caramel, toffee, that sort of vibe. It smells really good, actually. It smells like it's going to be quite flavoursome. So uh, let's get stuck in and see what she's all about. See if I like it. Cheers, everybody. Bosh. Oh, it does have a nice, uh, a lot of flavour to it for a lager. Oh, yeah. It's very hoppy and it's also quite malty as well. Lots of flavour going on. G giving me the sort of uh, marmalade orange zest vibes to this one. Got that zesty marmalade sort of feel about it. That's the main thing that stands out on that first mouthful for me. Got quite a nice body on her. Got a medium body, quite a smooth mouthfeel for me. It's uh, got kind of like a tangy sort of bitterness on the end, like a hoppy floral bitterness on the end. Uh, it's an interesting beer, and then like in the background, you got like a uh, like a malty backbone to it, but quite a strong malty backbone with like your caramel. And your toffee. It's definitely not a sweet beer. It sounds quite well balanced. I don't think this would be for everyone. But um, it's not that lagery for a lager. It's kind of like an amber ale for me. Um, kind of like a hybrid of a lager and an amber ale sort of thing. Uh, a more carbonated amber ale uh an amber ale that's also quite crisp and quite refreshing yeah it's it's something a bit different i actually don't mind this at all uh i'm appreciating the flavor to it and that it's quite easy drinking it's got plenty of flavor uh you know, it's quite a flexible beer you could sort of have this for a barbecue on a hot day or you could just chill indoors watching a film and have a couple of them you know um it's not too bad. Oh, I think I'd buy it again. Quite first quenching and quaffable, smashable. 
But it is, it, it is really quite hoppy now. I don't think this would be for everyone. You've got to like your hops. So you've got to like that sort of lingering bitterness. It's not too lingering, but it is there. It's very floral and kind of like grassy. And Sack reminds me about weeds. Sack about it reminds me of weeds. Like floral sort of weeds. Stinging nettles sort of thing, you know. <sighs> yeah, it ain't too bad. I would say um, it's not a lager that I would session personally, although well, it is sessionable. Uh, perhaps I would prefer something a bit more smashable when I'm going for a lager. This has got more flavour and stuff, which, you know, I'd probably, if I was to move for more flavour, I'd probably go for an hour or something. So this is kind of a bit of a stopgap between the two. But yeah, I think it's quite decent, decent enough to get a 7.7. .7. I think that's the first time I've ever gave something a 7.7 .7 before. But there we go, first time I've ever been getting there. Yeah, it's quite nice. I'd be interested to know what you think. Let me know in the comments what you make of this beer if you've tried it. And yeah, I'd say it's worth picking up if you're passing home bargains and you see it. I think it's quite a good price. Again, I don't think it'd be for everyone, but it's certainly worth a try. Um, and uh, yeah, that's about it from me for this one, guys. Smash that like button. It really does help the channel. Consider subscribing to the channel if you want to see more from me. And if you've already subscribed to the channel before, thank you very, very much. I do appreciate every single one of my subscribers. And uh, till the next one, guys. Bye-bye, darlings.